Hi guys, <clears throat> we have a pretty um, awesome update, beta update uh, for the for the Steam Deck that uh, makes the uh, fan noise uh, more quiet and also you get some new uh, refresh um, options here. So let's take a look at those right now. So here we are in Resident Evil 3. I've been playing this game recently in 60 frames per second but the battery life is not too great with 60 FPS and also you get some dips every now and then uh, with the settings I'm using but now Valve has updated the Steam Deck so you can actually um, you can uh, go ahead and do a custom refresh rate I really like the 40 FPS uh, refresh rate so now we are running 40 FPS and the game still feels uh, the game still feel uh, pretty smooth to me even in 40 FPS and you save a lot of battery while you still get a pretty nice um, smooth gameplay and uh, a second thing is the fan noise uh, listen to this I'm gonna actually lower the uh, game volume it's barely um, I don't know how it sounds in this video, but uh, in person here, uh, it, it's I can barely hear it. And I, I may uh, I may throw in uh, at this point a uh, comparison between the uh, old uh, fan noise and the new fan noise when the uh, fan is uh, full speed. So yeah, let's uh, play here a little bit. As you can see, we are uh, the power consumption came down a lot by just going to uh, 40 FPS, and the gameplay honestly is still pretty good. Feels uh, pretty smooth, as you can see. Oh shoot, the nemesis here. And my game volume is off. Is he coming? There he comes. Bang. Now let's actually put some volume here. Oh crap. Let's touch him. Go, go, go. So yeah, let's go ahead and show a different game here. Okay, so now we are in Dark Souls 3 and I'm gonna show you the settings I'm using. We're going all, everything is low. And this game, this is a good example of a game that actually um, struggles to hit uh, 60 FPS, but with the new refresh options, we can make it uh, way more smoother. So let's jump into the gameplay. So here we are running Dark Souls 3. And this game uh, cannot keep the uh, 60 FPS update, as you can see right here. We are dropping to uh, 50, 54, 55, 52. But it still feels um, all right. But now what we can do is just go to um, this menu. Uh, let's say we want to uh, run 50 Hertz. So bang, and you can see the uh, frame time graph even out so now it looks very smooth and the gameplay feels a lot better as a result so definitely a nice update by valve here this game this game seems to be able to run 
uh, locked 50 at least in the first areas of the game. I don't know when you go further. And also, I definitely like the 40 FPS option. It still feels uh, pretty smooth and much better than uh, 30 FPS. Yeah, and the uh, power consumption definitely going down when you choose the uh, 40 FPS update. So let's uh, showcase another game. Okay, so here are the settings for a Fallout 4 Advanced. Here you can see all the settings I'm using. And I actually, um, actually made a video about this game earlier and um, I was not able to lock 60, but it was pretty close. So let's see what we can do with the new refresh options. Okay, so here we are in a city area with 40 FPS lock. And as you can see, it, it definitely feels pretty smooth and seems to be holding that ni uh, quite nicely. And here you can see the power consumption. Even though we are at 15, the fan noise, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, uh, pretty uh, quiet, even when we are using uh, 14, 15 watts. It's definitely awesome. I'm gonna actually lower the uh, game volume. Right now it's very quiet. It can go definitely higher than that, but I like it. So yeah, as you can see, 40 FPS, definitely way better now than using a 60 and dropping frames. Seems to be working very nicely here. Let's try if we can even go to uh, 50, which is even smoother. So let's raise this to 50. And there we have it. We are now running 50 Hertz. I don't know if, if this can be locked to 50, but I guess it's it can be pretty close. Okay, a couple of uh, drop frames there. And now the fan is definitely ramping up. Okay, for a moment. Still isn't bad at all. Let's try to shoot this guy. Okay, so I, I think the uh, uh, 40 FPS may be a better option in this game than the 50, but, but even 50, if you lower some settings, you can get it pretty much locked, I believe. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and um, I'll see you next time.